I'm Bita Arabian. I'm so grateful to be a part of this nutrition lesson. I'm a family nutritionist, a food blogger, and a cookbook author. And today I'm gonna to share with you some tips and tricks on how to stock your dorm room or college apartment with healthy snacks to fuel your day. We're gonna start with a simple demo on how to make green smoothies. Then I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite healthy hummus recipes. Finally, we'll talk about the importance of staying hydrated by drinking water all day long. Thanks again. For more information and tips and tricks on how to stay well, you can find me on ovenhug.com. Okay, here we are in my kitchen. I'm going to share with you some healthy snacks and items that would be great for you to keep on hand to stock your college dorm or apartment, realizing you're not probably having all this space. However, you can definitely find these things in most markets. So let me go through now and start, first of all, with all sorts of fresh fruits and vegetables. Fresh is best. You are going to want to probably get the non-perishable things that aren't going to go bad, that you can grab and go. Bananas are fantastic. For breakfast, I always say something is better than nothing. If you're short on time, grab a banana and go. Next, I'm going to say figure out what your favorite kind of apple is. There's so many varieties out there. My favorite is Pink Lady. I love the tart, a little bit sweet, a little bit sour of the Pink Lady apples. These are great for snacking, good fiber. Like I said, the sugar that's in fruit, your body can break it down and metabolize it. It's not the same as white sugar. Have as much sweet fruit as you want. Oranges are great. These ones are from our tree. They're fresh and they're wonderful. The little ones, the mandarins and the cuties are really easy to peel and throw into your backpack for a quick snack, a breakfast on the go. Berries are fabulous. They do tend to go bad more quickly, so you need to consume them more quickly, but they're great to have to throw into your yogurt or just to snack on and they're really healthy, lots of antioxidants, berries are fabulous. I love cherries. Find out what your favorite things are and stock up on that with the fresh. Now, um, applesauce, if you have a sweet tooth, you can get these applesauces. I have teenage daughters, I get these for them. Make sure it doesn't have added sugar or fruit juice. Fruit juice is different than fruit in that it doesn't have the fiber, and so it does quickly get converted into sugar into your body. We wanna limit fruit juice. Stock up on the fresh, whole fruits. Applesauce is a nice, uh, easy snack. Again, look that this one doesn't have any added sugar or added fruit juice. This is a good to go snack. And it's non-perishable. You can throw it in your bag. You can have it around. So um, you can even spread it on to like a whole wheat waffle. So the unsweetened applesauce is a great thing to have. Let me quickly touch on yogurt. Yogurt can be deceiving. We think it's good for us. Oftentimes it's loaded and laden with sugar. Definitely look at the nutritional label. You wanna make sure it's under 10 grams of sugar. The best way to go is just with a non-fat plain. I know not everyone has a taste for that. Although you can get used to it by adding the fruit and stuff, it can sweeten it up. If you're used to a sweeter one, again, just look for low sugar. Here's one, a brand that happens to be only five grams of sugar for vanilla. Um, here's another one, the Greek yogurts are good. And just look at the grams of sugar. I do buy non-fat yogurt. Things you can put in your yogurt. Almonds, like I said, have great protein, good fiber. They're the lowest fat of all the nuts. Keep a bunch of raw almonds around for snacking. Grab them, put them in your bag. They're the best snack, they really are. Um, they can tie you over until the next meal. They come in all different forms. The sliced ones are great for, like I said, putting in your yogurt, putting on top of your salad or your bowl. 
And next I'm gonna touch on some other nuts. All nuts are great. Um, cashews, pistachios, these do have a little bit more fat, healthy fat, but still, if you're wanting to uh, think about being lean, you might lean more towards the almonds. Now, veggies, um, going to give you a recipe for an easy hummus to make at home. You can buy ready-made hummus. It's really easy to make at home. I'm gonna show you how to make that in a second. Things I like to dip in my hummus, some baby carrots. These stay pretty long um, in, your, in your fridge if you have a little mini fridge. Baby carrots, um, you know, celery sticks. Those are pretty hearty. And then figure out what kind of greens you like. I really like arugula, baby arugula. I'm gonna show you a green smoothie recipe and um, later along with the hummus. Red bell pepper, delicious, slice it up, snack on it. It's really good in hummus. So that's it for my grab and go, how to stock, healthy snacks, even some breakfast on the go portion. I'm gonna do a demo of how to make a simple green smoothie. Now I have a personal size blender I actually have two of them. I like them so much. Um, what I like about the personal size blenders is that you can make individual sized portions and there's very little cleanup because you're making your smoothie in the same receptacle that you're then going to consume it in. So you only have to wash this. Of course, you can adapt this recipe to a full size blender if that's what you have. But again, um, for our needs and for my teenage daughters, we just usually make one at a time. A personal size blender like this one that I have, you can find this for under $30 at Target or on Amazon or most retail places. It's, it's pretty inexpensive. So what we like to do is we take our um, spinach or kale, as I mentioned, those are both natural sources of protein, plant-based protein. To make a green smoothie, I, um, I usually just freeze these in little Ziploc bags. They're great for smoothie, smoothies this way. And that way, if you have too much and it's gonna go bad in your fridge, you can just put it in little baggies and use it for smoothies. So you put your spinach in and then add a sweet fruit. Anything really goes banana, mango, pineapple, whatever you have. Again, I often will freeze those chunks of mango or pineapple to add to my green smoothies. Today I'm gonna to use a banana because that's what I have. Bananas were great. The longer you have them, the more they will become um, oxidized. And you know, when they get mushy and brown, they're actually sweeter that way. Um, so you go ahead and put that in and that's got healthy fiber, natural sweet flavor. So obviously you peel your banana. Um, use a liquid of your choice, hopefully not fruit juice. Almond, work, almond milk works well. This is an unsweetened vanilla that we have. And um, then you'll just fill up a little more than halfway with the liquid. This is unsweetened almond milk. And um, another little trick is that cinnamon is a spice that makes things taste sweeter without sugar. And then if you want a little extra protein, um, you can do something like a PB2. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend. I'm not gonna blend in your ear and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I blended the spinach, in my case, the banana, the almond milk, a little bit of cinnamon. Again, the peanut butter powder is optional. PB2 is a low fat version of protein, peanut butter protein. They, uh, if you're looking for more protein, you can have, and that's it. So here I have my beautiful green smoothie in the personal size. And um, the handy thing again about these personal sizes is less washing. You just wash the blade and the cup later. They do come with lids so you could take it to go. If you're having it right now, just put a fun straw and enjoy great breakfast, give you energy, healthy protein, tastes good. I don't know about you, but I always feel better when I have something green. And this, 
Oh, it's really good. Also makes for a good snack. So I'm happy to share with you my recipe for homemade healthy hummus. I'll run through all the ingredients, I'll show you the equipment that you need, and I'll give you some nutritional information. Basically, you want to start with either a mini Cuisinart or a blender. I have a mini Cuisinart here. You can pick one up relatively inexpensive and they're handy to have. Garbanzo beans are a great protein source, plant-based protein, a healthy complex carbohydrate, and loaded with vitamins and minerals. They're really nutritious. So I just use one can of organic garbanzo beans drain the can, I've already added it here, the garbanzos. Then uh, I like my hummus to be really garlicky and lemony. We use garlic, you can use garlic powder or some form of fresh garlic, this is garlic paste. Lots of lemon juice, I am blessed with a lemon tree. Um, I've already squeezed a quarter cup, almost a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. I'll add that in. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use the garlic paste. Like I said, I like it really lemony and garlicky. Then I'm gonna put salt for flavor. This is just some sea salt. You can find this recipe on my blog. We have California extra virgin olive oil. And I put about a tablespoon of that. And this is a healthy fat. For another spice, we do use a little bit of cumin, ground cumin, it's optional. And then lastly, about a teaspoon of tahini. And tahini is a sesame paste. Um, it is a bit calorically dense in that most seeds are oily. You can see it's kind of oily in there. So just about a spoon of tahini to get the authentic hummus flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this and show you what it looks like. Okay, I've blended the garbanzos, the lemon juice, the salt, the cumin, and the tahini together to make this delicious homemade healthy hummus. And I blended it until it was nice and smooth. I'm gonna show you some ways you may enjoy it. Some options include some red bell pepper that you just slice up. You could toast some whole wheat pita bread to dip in there. I have some celery sticks, some baby carrots, and it makes for a nutritious, protein-packed, healthy, power snack. Enjoy. One of the things I talk about daily in my coaching practice is the importance of drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated. I want to definitely talk about that with you today. I want to say that it's one of the most important things you can do for your health. Our bodies are made up of a lot of water. We need to replenish it. It helps us with digestion. It'll help your skin be glowy and clear and help you really feel better. And so in addition to remembering to eat fresh and eat clean and eat whole, please do remember to drink plenty of water. I took out our collection of water bottles, whatever it is that works for you. You want to take a small one to go in your bag. If you have room for a big one, even better. When you're going to the gym or going to walk or work out or even just at home, this is my favorite one for drinking water at home. And it's just something to help me remember when I see this that I need to drink water. There's lots of variety if you like flavored water. You can try some of the flavored waters out there. Again, make sure to check the um, sugar content. There are a lot of brands, if you like it carbonated, there are carbonated flavors. 
or just good old plain water and take it with you everywhere. Remember to fill it up and please stay hydrated.